When you hear the term parasite, you may think of mosquitoes, disgusting leeches, or even ticks. But there are actually plants and flowers that are parasites. Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. Let's talk about parasitic plants. There are around 4,500 species of parasitic plants. Part of this is the result of a root or other structures called a hostorium, which is a structure that grows into or around another structure to absorb water or nutrients. Kind of like you tapping into your neighbor's cable. Your neighbor pays the bill and you get free cable. So let's take a look at a couple of parasitic plants. First, mistletoe. You know, the stuff you stand under. This plant you will see high in trees is actually a parasite. Mistletoe will attach to the host tree or shrub and then extract water and nutrients from the host plant. Not very nice. This next tree is an albino redwood. An albino redwood is a redwood tree that is unable to produce chlorophyll, so it has white needles instead of the normal green. It survives by obtaining sugar and other nutrients from connections with its roots and those of the neighboring normal redwoods around it. Next, we have witch weed. This plant develops a hostorium from the initial root. The hostorium grows towards the host root until it makes contact and then it starts a parasitic relationship. This plant is concerned for farmers because it will prey on corn, rice, and sugar cane. Next, we have a strange flower. In fact, the world's largest individual flower, and that is Rafflesia. This flower also is famous for having a very strong and unpleasant odor, kind of like that of rotting meat. But it is also a parasite, and it does not have observable leaves, stems, but it does grow thread-like strands of tissue that embed and come in contact with the surrounding host plants, and then it takes the nutrients and water from them. Next, we have Nigia floribunda, which is also called the Christmas tree because it blooms around Christmas. It is a parasitic tree found in Western Australia. Again, it obtains water and minerals from its host. And finally, we have the saddlewood tree. In fact, the saddlewood tree is the second most expensive wood in the world and is very heavy yellow and fine green. But again, it gets its nutrition from other trees around it. So there we go. If you'd like to know more about other parasitic plants, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.